to say reversed case statements we have seen right one not so one not kind of one heart or one cold for that uh, kind of encoding style we can use reversed case statement and then in some synthesis compilers using the reversed case style for one not state machines might yield more optimized synthesis results than the standard style of can uh, case statements that's why we are using reversed case statement okay we'll get the most uh, optimized result so this is all about uh, uh, encoding using uh, one uh, reversed case statement style and look at here uh, here we are having some more points using this seeming uh, seem uh, seemingly complex scheme to specify the one not state value serves two important purposes first one is there is no possibility of coding error that defines different one not bit positions in the two enumerated uh, type definitions getting first point in enumerated type uh, there is no ch possibility to mention yeah two states having the same one not and second one is it should the va it should uh, the design specification change one not definitions only the enumerator type specifying the bit positions has to change okay. enumerator type specifying the bu bit position has to change the uh, enumerator type defining the state names will automatically reflect the change you are getting this one yeah here this is all the same but based on this thing, uh, based on this r underscore bit g underscore bit y underscore bit only it is changing right that's what yeah system very log there is no need of mentioning these two things if you are using unique case and uh, enumerated logic that is the use of this unique case okay so unique case reduces the ambiguities of uh, case statement you are getting uh, this one right so now if you are using unique case no need to <coughs> sorry this itself a clear one yeah suppose instead of using case you are using unique here okay so if you are using unique means no need to mention this default default one automatically it will take care and uh, one more thing here also we no need to mention the default state that is the usage of unique case so standard data types can have uh, unused values a default assignment of x can cover unused condition uh, our intention why we are using default it has to cover unused uh, conditions then assigning an x can uh, cause mismatches but if you are using that default with a x assignment then it may cause some uh, mismatches suppose if you are using the same value in some other portion of your code so x checking the value of x is not a good one right so in uh, while writing the rtl we should uh, uh, we should our uh, assumption is uh, either it will have the value of either 0 or 1 right that's why and uh, the last point is enumerator types can only be assigned values and their type cast so we are using that data type and their values that's it next the last sub topic in this discussion is uh, using a two state data types in fsm model so uh, in the previous example what uh, data type we have used logic logic is a four state data type bring enum red green uh, yellow okay so automatically what is the default value for red zero green one like that so it will start with that default value if reset also sets enumerated values to the first item in the list the default base type is int you are, are you getting the second one Uh, if uh, reset also sets enumerated values to to the first item, 
in the list then the base type is int if you are not mentioning any base type so the default value is int 